Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hard West. In the previous episode, we realized just how screwed over we got by our deal with the Crime Lord, in that he was taking all our money and becoming powerful off of it. And we also had our father make a rather unfavorable deal with a, what is obvious, character. Which has gained us a curse, which drains our luck every turn in combat. Yeah, not going to be all that useful to us. Uh, this is going to be a, a somewhat short map scenario, so first things first, we need to head to the Fate Trader Shop. See, after every mission, his shop resets. So we are going to buy another repeater rifle. Because it's a good weapon to have in this early point in the game. Then we are going to head to sh- no, nope. Well, too late. Let's leave for now. First things first, we are actually going to head for the Slave Fugitive. The man was cold, hungry, and scared. He explained that he had been a slave, but had escaped. And had been on the run for months, terrified that they were on his trail. He begged you to shelter him, saying that if you didn't, he'd surely be taken back to his previous hellish existence. You agreed to shelter him. Provided he had help with the homestead. Former slave was beside himself with joy, promising you wouldn't regret it. You sincerely hoped he was correct. Now we head to Shady Joint. Flights was filled with low lights. Talk turned to news from the Mexican towns now from the Mexicans town now that he was dead. Things sounded bad there. Mexica the Mexican was harsh, but he kept order. Now the town, w town was total anarchy. Yeah, that's the thing about taking out crime lords. Sure, they're evil people, but they also keep order where they are. Yes, it's purely for selfish reasons, but they do it. That's what happens when you create a power vacuum. Then we also need to ask for ways to lift a curse. You asked if anyone around knew how to lift a curse. Everyone had different surefire method. Some told you to pray, others said to make an offering at the church. Still, more put their faith in exorcisms. You heard tell of a fortune teller nearby. Probably a charlatan, but well, at this point you'd try anything. Right. Or maybe you'd be better off with a classic. Find a wishing well and drop a coin inside. The place was filled with lowlifes. Now we do some bartering. Ah, uh, let's see. We want to sell off a Deadly Derringer and our Bloodstained Shirt and buy an Elephant Rifle and some Loaded Dice. Gonna need to throw some cash in on this, but hey. Plus 50 max luck. Yeah, we're gonna need it. Now then, if you do not have the Spinal Jeopardy Scar yet, on Warren, head to the well. Do not throw a coin in, otherwise Father will leave the posse. Instead, climb down to collect the wishes of others. What did they need with wishes? Climbing down, you fell hard on some slippery rocks and suffered an injury, but still, the coins were yours. Yep, we now get the fract spine fracture. After that, it's time to purge Mexican Town of Lowlifes. We don't have to do this, but it will get us a trinket. The town had been a mess ever since you killed the Crime Lord. It was time to finish what you started. Okay then, as for equipment, we are going to equip Father with the elephant rifle and a pepper box which I believe is actually held by yep Florence uh, let's see Pat we are gonna keep his weapons the same but we are gonna give him the loaded dice da -da 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 -da. Florence We'll get the sawed-off Cobra shotgun and repeater rifle. We're 
We're also going to give her at least one dried healing herb, which I think is actually yet on father. Because she's also essential. And we're also going to want to try and give her cards that increase her max HP, but don't think we really have anything like that. Let's see, luck, sight, defense, and aim. You can, these cards are actually grouped up, not just by their value, but also by uh, the bonuses that they give. And unfortunately, we don't have anything that boosts max HP. So, I'm just going to stick with what I've got. Uh, other than that, Warren's loadout isn't going to change at all. So, I think I'll actually, though I think I will take off one of the dried healing herbs and give them to Father, just because, you know, he's essential. Uh, with that, let us proceed to combat. Hopefully this won't take us 24 minutes to get through. It was high time you fixed what you'd broken, and kill all the misfits who were flocking to town. It was an ambush. They knew you were coming. Of course they did. We were here before. Okay, we need to get our people into cover, where they can do some damage. Ah, Pat's a shotgun guy. Let's just get him into areas where it'll force our enemies to move. Nah. Even if I could hit them, I couldn't really do any damage. Now, you also have to bear in mind uh, that, well... We do have to worry about the curse. We're going to be draining luck, but five luck every turn. So we're not really going to be able to pull off a whole lot of skills. Uh, let's see, where can I toss Florence where she's out of harm's way? Uh, here should be good, hopefully. Let's see, Father, I'm going to want to get to a higher location because of that sniper rifle, but it doesn't look like there's anywhere I can really go for that. Let's toss him over here. Oh wait, no, that's Warren. Eh. Well, it doesn't matter, the same things apply to Father. Let's get him in here, then. And then we'll end turn. Now then, could Pat theoretically shoot through there? Nope. Even though that shotgun probably could blast away the wood. 100% shot chance. What damn it? That guy? Shoot, if you got a 100% chance, hit him. What about you, Florence? 49% chance, and 37. Hmm. Screw it, go for the shot. Even if it doesn't kill him, it'll set him up. For some serious damage. By the way, swipping, uh, swapping weapons, I don't know if I brought this up, does not cost action points. Uh, there is a problem with the elephant gun. I believe sniper rifles tend to take two. No, wait. I believe that's for a scoped shot. Yeah, scoped shots take two action points. And they're a guaranteed hit most of the time. But, well... Yeah, they do cost two action points. And elephant rifle, or, well, the elephant rifle, I'm not sure about all of the sniper rifles, because I don't have everything memorized, uh, tend to only have one shot on them. 54% chance, I'll take it. Especially considering he was, well, mostly out of luck. Uh, I don't want to move 
pad around. Because of all the guys in here. So I'm just gonna end turn there. Well, he's a right fool. Because I believe Pat has an unhindered shot on him. Well, sort of unhindered. Let's just get into a guaranteed shot range, eh? That does leave him somewhat exposed to these guys out here, but I'm confident he'll be fine. Okay, Father, swap back over to your elephant rifle and let's take a scope shot at this guy. Warren! Let's see if we can't get you up here. We cannot, but we can get you moved over here so you can get upstairs next turn. Ah, Florence, let's get you over to half cover, see if you can't get some good shots on somebody else. 65% chance I'll take it, even if it doesn't kill, it will at least greatly reduce their, their luck. met their end, and their numbers gradually dwindled. Hmm, really, I would have gone for Pat. But yeah, you can see the hindrance of the sniper rifle. Very accurate, very dangerous, but... There is always that whole AP cost plus ammo, because you have to reload on your next turn if you want to use it. Alright, two left. No idea where that last one is, though. I know where one of them is, I don't know where the last one is. Can't get upstairs and into cover without using up all my action points. I'm gonna take the chance that I'll have a shot on her from there. If not, I can always go back downstairs into cover. I do not. Is there a ricochet I could pull off from there? Nope. Back downstairs it is. Father, you reload, and then... How far can you move? Not very. So I'll just get you into cover next to Florence. Still no line of sight on her, huh? I could always go for a golden bullet. Still no clue where this last guy is, though. Come out, come out wherever you are. Seriously, come out. I like to get more than just this one mission for this video. I heard a door opening, but I'm not 100% sure which direction it came from. Wait, was that door open? I don't think it was. Bingo! Lucio Moralana. No idea. Shame I can't move characters and set them into Overwatch.
Well, not going to even try and shoot or actually get into decent cover. And I see why. Uh, that's within orange range. But I don't think it'll matter much. Finally, you took down the most vicious among them. With the worst of the lot gone, the town now had a chance to find some semblance of normalcy. Okay, with that, we got a bunch of cards and snake leather boots. That's another trinket. And we got Spinal Jeopardy on Warren, which is... Here we are. Your stiff back hampers your movement, but provides stability when aiming. Plus 10 aim, minus 1 movement, plus 1 max HP. Okay, let's check out these new cards. Uh, Jack of Clubs, dodge. If there's a chance to dodge the bullet, you will. Now that's active, though. And Queen of Clubs, Shriek. Damage enemies in sight. Alright. And we also got the Black Joker. Jokers don't have abilities, but they act as wild cards, allowing you to complete various uh, other cards. For example, let's see, 10, 10, 10, 10. Ace. If I were to replace this with Joker, I'd get 5 of a kind, which gets me plus 2 damage. Yeah... Yeah, I think I'll take that. And then I can put this on Father, which gives me plus two movement. As for this, I don't know, put defense on her. Also get her some extra movement. Aces in the hole. Symbol five of a kind hand. Huh. Okay. Uh, alright. Now then, once Mexico Town is finally free of bandits, let's head to the well and throw a coin in it. You dropped the coin down the well, but it had no effect that you could discern. Father's curse made prospecting impossible. Whatever methods you tried, whatever places you sought, nothing worked. The situation was hopeless. Though you never said it, his guilt was clear, which made for many silent evenings. One day, you awoke to a note from Father. He was sorry for the bad decisions he'd made. He was sorry for your mother. For Florence. For you. He loved you, and that meant he had to leave you. If only it had helped. Yeah, we still have our curse. Oh boy. He's a great character, but we'll find a way to manage. Let's head to the Shady Joint. And pay old Ike 400 gold to fill father's shoes. You hired an old miner to help in prospecting. A seasoned expert joined the company and increased your mining income by 15% as long as he was around. Well, he's hoping we'll need it. Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. Huh. Let's see, let's go to the fortune teller who will swindle a hundred gold out of us. You found the hut, inhabited by a young woman. Rumor had it she could see the future. Seems she can lift our curse. She took your money eagerly, but though she tried a range of methods, none of them were effective. Yay. Let's see, dexterity elixir. This is some stuff we're gonna need. We'll buy that. And we'll also need to buy a bone amulet. Uh, thankfully, we do get the 100 gold back. Then we have to go to the church and waste another 50 gold. You asked for a curse exorcism. You paid your money, but would later discover it had no effect. Just when you thought things couldn't get worse, you returned after a hard day's work to find thugs raiding your house. You scout it from a distance. They will pay for this with their lives. Now, we can go to the homestead, and that would end the scenario. But... 
let's not do that. First things first, we're going to head for the crevice. As you scouted the country, you came across a narrow crevice. You could have climbed through it, but it would have been a difficult challenge. Unless you came well prepared, it would be all too easy to sustain a serious injury. Well prepared as always, you climbed down. This is what we needed the dexterity elixir for. The climbing was long and tiring, but your extra dexterity served you well, and you finished it without incident. You found a natural cavern that had rocks indicating a good chance for gold deposit. You marked it on your map. That gets us the treasure trove. Then we need to rent a hydro, a uh, hydrojet from the hydraulic mining. Now uh, let's see, where is that? Ah, you could have rented a hydrojet to move the deeper gold deposits to the surface. The partners that operated it, Mitch Brummel and Nathan Benzer, had a, made a small fortune selling their services. Let us rent the hydrojet. The rental order had been placed, and now you just needed to visit the site and send for the equipment. Okay then, return to the treasure trove and exact, extract its placer gold. And then we need to use the hydro jet to displace the deeper gold vein so we can extract it as well. So you repeat the same procedure on the remaining mining places until you save 700 gold. Just one problem. I don't have the money for this. You sent for the hydro jet? Okay. Uh, powerful hydrojet rinsed the jet that had to rinse the ground, moving the gold up. Okay. Da, 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 da. Fortunately, we have no money. Uh, foo, do, 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 do. Let's head to the trader outpost and see if we can't sell something. I haven't really been using the relic, and yeah, let's just sell that. I'll get us 25 gold so that we can then head back to the treasure trove. See, a total of 18 gold. Ah, let's see. Place deeper gold vein so you can extract it as well. Okay. I am confused. Oh, and I have to keep going back to the hydraulic mining. Ugh. See, we're effective but expensive. First thing to say. Okay then. Let's get the placer gold. And we lost seven dollars. Okay. Okay, good, good. We need to repeat this with everywhere until we get 124... Alright, get... Some, uh... Until we get... About 700 gold or so. Okay, let's find the others. Okay, so anywhere with those silver ones, we cannot get any more. Alright, 48 bucks. Oh boy. Some told me I'm not going to be getting that uh, 700. But who knows? Most entrance. Dig. Alright, we're into the placer gold. Gets me a profit of one buck. Mm 
then that gets me 55. Uh, let's see, mining partnership. Nope. Nope. Charter's mining op. Maybe that. Okay. Gets us. Negative one. Yay. But that got us 37. Uh, let's see, are there any other mining operations? Let's see, well, no. Homestead, Ugly Ditch, Ford's Shaft, but I've already gotten all the deeper golds from there. Uh, gold mine office? There's also that shovel pit. Oof, no. Not doing that. Excavation field. I'd already gotten the silver from there. Shovel pit? Nope. Da, 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 da. While the mining and place, I think all the placer and deeper golds, you haven't reached that amount, go to the forest entrance. Okay, fine. Let's see, as you traverse the forest, you spotted a rare albino rabbit. Its skin would net a decent price, and albino rabbit's feet are a powerful good luck charm. The rabbit, for its part, sat still, as though perhaps you were the valuable prey. If you shoot it, you'll get 50 gold and a rabbit foot talisman that gets you plus 35 luck, but following it will unlock a new mining site. I'm gonna follow it for the mining site. You followed the rabbit into the fort, but quickly lost track of the creature. Cursing your bad decision, you stumbled upon a cave whose markings indicated it was a worthwhile mining site. That that mining site, you marked it on your map and vowed to return. Okay, we got the bonanza, but we also got the water mill. We're gonna want to head there. You get this no matter what. The abandoned mill held a puzzling scene. Two identical twins, one holding a gun, the other shot dead. You'd seen their face on a wanted poster, but just one of them. When you saw your gun, the shooter dropped his and claimed innocence, saying he shot his murderous brother in self-defense. He offered you the gun. Let's just take him to the sheriff. The, uh, letting him go and keeping the gun will get you a harmonica gun, which is pretty mediocre. You received the bounty, but the sheriff held on to the gun as evidence. Well, that's fine. Okay, let's hit up the hydraulic mining again. Rent the Hydrojet. Head for the Bonanza. We rinse the Placer Gold. That gets us a profit of negative nine. Mm, yay. Get the Hydrojet. Rinse that Placer Gold. That gets us 87. But we're still 300 short. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to head to the trading outpost. I'm going to sell off whatever it is I'm not going to be using for the uh, final mission. So, I will be right back. Okay, then. Managed to get just over the 700 that I needed in order to get, well, the amount of money I needed. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. First things first, we are going to head for the, if I can find it on the map, gold mine office. I'm going to spend $600 to learn the master techniques of hard rock gold mining. Seems expensive, but apparently we'll make it back easily, I hope. Going to head for the treasure trove. And then spend the money on this, which will actually net us 720 in profit, so... Yeah, I'd say it was worth it. We're out of time, but... Ooh, I have no idea how long the last mission's gonna take. 
Mm. You know what? Let's just keep going. Alright, that nets us a profit of 200. Let's see, the dig. Is that one? Yep. Gets us 2200. Gonna keep doing this until we get a total of 500. Or 1500. Sorry. That gets us 120 profit. Get up the shovel pit. Gets us 80 profit. Excavation field. 120 profit. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's see, 110. And 190. I believe that's actually the last of them. Let's see, well, fortune teller, shady joint, fate trader, church. Uh. Let's see, Carter's mining op. Let's just check out some of the other stuff, just in case. I did have to sell off one of the guns that I'm probably gonna need. Oh, yep, yeah, there's that. See two hundred eighty. Uh, nope. Nope. And nope. No, I believe that's all the mining that we can do. Well, with all that, we'll head to the small bridge house. see. You came by a house of poor family, the small bridges, they told you. They were trying to leave, the, leave saying this country was unsafe. But without money, they had little chance of preparing for even a short journey. You decided to lend them the necessary sum. You didn't really expect to ever get it back. They were very grateful, said they'd pray for you. What a nice idea, but who are we kidding? It was clear the small bridge family had left the hat area. The house stood empty except for a few things they left behind. It was impossible to tell whether they left them on purpose or forgot about them in the haste. Well, that gets us a lucky horseshoe. This lucky horseshoe grants 20% more luck than regular horseshoes. It's kind of useless at this point, but eh, it's a nice feeling. Plus, we do have a ton of money that we could use to spend on equipment, which really I don't think I need. I could go back and rebuy the, sh uh, da -da, the Cobra shotgun. If she still has it. Yep, sawed off Cobra. And why not buy back the repeater rifle? Even though I don't think I need it, but at the same time, I got more money than I know what to spend on. Ah, uh, let's get that dried healing herb. Just in case. And you can basically spend it on anything you really need, but really, I don't think we need anything else, so... Let's head on to the last mission. From afar, you can see armed thugs roaming your homestead. Now, if you did buy the uh, escape tunnel, it would make the mission somewhat easier by allowing you to start inside the house, but we didn't. You attacked. As you prepared to make your move, the slave you were sheltering came out of hiding. He had been working the fields when he saw armed men approaching. He was in no condition to fight, but gave you the charm that had kept him alive until now. Ojo del Muerto. Uh, let's check that out. Talismans. Plus 10 aim, minus 5 defense. Huh. Okay then, for this one... If he was in your pause, he would have abandoned it, but let's see. Which will come in handy for Florence. Okay then. I'll give her that. Uh, let's see. Equip Pat with the Bone Amulet. Warren will get the Snake Leather Boots. Well, he's not doing enough damage with everything else. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ike with the Loaded Dice. And we will also give Ike the Elephant Rifle and keep him with his musket. 
does good damage, at least when they're out of cover. Only has one ammunition, though. Everybody else's loadouts will be unchanged, so I'll give this back to Florence. Don't know why we bought that extra repeater rifle. Although Warren is now without a gun. I might have accidentally sold his. Oh well, give him two. Alright, time to evict these people. Let's see. Well, let me just quickly check the card screen. Barrage. Ooh, that's right. All of Father's cards. Hey. Oh, no, give him to Florence. That gives her plus 10 defense, which will make up for what she's missing. And I guess I'll give Barrage to, I guess, Ike? I don't know. Uh, not Ike, Pat. Alright, let's do this. They loon certain enough what happens when you try to take a man's home. I mean, technically, didn't the home originally belong to the uh, railroad company? You would fight for your home and take back what was yours. Yeah, so because we didn't have the, uh didn't have the escape tunnel, we start out outside. Fortunately, Old Ike doesn't have much in the way of movement. I'll just move him behind some heavy cover for now. Fortunately, those hay bales don't make for good cover. Let's see, 64% shot on this guy. Two damage, he has three health, so I'm just gonna move up. Let's see, Florence. I'm gonna move you over here. And Pat, I'm gonna have you start moving up to here, turn this into some full cover. See, there's a guy right here we could potentially go for next turn. Especially considering he's going after me. Okay, Pat, you move over here and kill this guy. Okay, Ike. You have a decent shot? No, you do not. Let's switch over to the elephant rifle then and take a scope shot. Jay's gonna be more trouble. Let's go for. Oh, it's only gonna do two damage though. Still though. Two damage is better than no damage. That does give him 50 health, though. Or, 50... 50, uh, luck. Alright. Ah! Dang it. Lawrence, you only have a 49% chance to hit. But that guy will have lost a lot of luck from that shot from Warren. Bingo! I'd like to make sure everybody survives. I don't have to, but I'd like to. Alright, switch over to your musket, see if you can't get a good shot on that guy. 69% chance. Take it. Okay, Florence, can you shoot that guy way over there? 73% chance. Go for it. Got it. Uh, I'd like to have Pat move up here to take care of this guy. But the fact that the counter hasn't shown up here for this makes me think, ooh, I don't know, that there's going to be some other guys.
So, Pat, why don't you just take some dried healing herbs? And I'll move you behind heavy cover, or full cover. Oh, you poor dumb fool. You just ended your own life. Warren, why don't you go around the side and take care of him for us? Hmm? Florence, you move up. Uh, old Ike, you just take your turn to reload everything. And Pat, you start moving up. There's another one. Yeah, I'm only gonna get one damage off of this guy. Okay then, Florence, why don't you try moving up here, see if you can't get a flanking shot on the other guy. Seventy-one percent chance. Take it. Really? And old Ike doesn't have line of sight on anyone. Alright, Warren, you just move up. But yeah, basically, if we had had the escape tunnel, I believe we would have started somewhere within this vicinity. Which would have meant we could take them on much faster. But I don't think it was worth the... 200 gold we'd have to spend. Okay, Pat, can you get around? Yes, you can. Ah, there's one of the other guys upstairs. Wait, what? Why were you... What? No... You know what, if that gets you killed, that's on you. Okay, Warren, you get over here. Now then, Florence, would you be able to... Not within your yellow movement. Old Ike, would you be able to take a shot at the other node? So, Warren, you're gonna have to shoot this guy. What you didn't know at the time was that those hired thugs worked for the railroad. The corrupt local government deeded them your property, claiming the right of eminent domain. Making the house you were defending no longer yours. Every man you killed raised the reward on your head a little higher. Because now, you were a wanted man. An outlaw. Oh no! Whatever shall we do? I was hoping Florence would get a good shot off on them. Okay, there's that. That guy's moving to go somewhere. Wow, I thought my characters had terrible aim. Okay, the last two are upstairs. I'm gonna start sending Warren up there. And I'm gonna send Florence along as well. Or I probably shouldn't, because for some reason the guy was in there, even though it didn't show up for him. Okay, old Ike. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a risky maneuver. Move you over here so you can shoot this guy. But you can't, can ya? Uh, I hate it when this happens. Okay, Pat, at the very least, please shoot this guy this time. Thank you. Okay, Florence, switch over to the sawed-off Cobra and kill this guy. Warren, just get right next to this guy and execute him. Thug was silenced. The truth of your situation finally hit home. You had to run. And with that, the scenario is complete. So, I know we went well over the time limit, but I didn't want to start a video, immediately end the scenario, and then move on to the next scenario in the middle, so I just wanted to finish this one off. Uh, the trinkets you can get from this one are the Rapita Rifle, good rifle, Snake Leather Boots, and the Relic. Really, the Relic I never actually used. But anyways, with that, we have come to an end for this episode. Join us next time when we will start As Good As Dead. Your rootless and ha but happy times are drift- Your rootless but happy times of drifting are violently interrupted when you cross the wrong man. But a powerful stranger helps you rise up, transforming you from a carefree gambler the pers into the personification of vengeance. Oh boy. That's something. But that's going to have to be saved for next episode. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.